What's going on guys? It's Time Zone welcoming you back to the next episode of our Sonic Mania Let's Play. We're here in Chemical Plant Zone, one of my favorite zones. Just listen to this music for a sec. Oh! Mm. Man, I, I absolutely adore the music here. T Lopes. Shout out to T Lopes for the music. Oh. Well, this is actually an OG track from the original. Uh, I think. Chemical Plant? Was this in Sonic 2? Maybe? Um. But this is an OG track uh, that has been kind of remastered by T-Lobes. So good, so jazzy and funky. And we are jumping right into our third bonus stage. Here we go. Let's get all these emeralds, guys. Let's get all these emeralds. Let's see if we can show you... Let's see if we can't show you some uh, supersonic... Uh, some supersonic in our Let's Play. Don't need no bonus episodes. What are bonus episodes? What are bonus episodes anyway? <clears throat> Honestly, is it coming? I don't know. Might be. Might be. So keep your eyes out for that, guys. Um, that was my last Let's Play. Honestly, my only Let's Play on this channel. So, besides Shantae, uh, I'm not gonna talk about that just now. Um, let me know if you guys want me to. If there's demand for it, we'll talk about it. If there's not, then uh, we can just kind of let that let that sit. This was another easy bonus round. We haven't seen any of the checkpoint bonus rounds yet. I'll show that to you guys too. That is that is OG bonus right there. Um, and you guys will see that. I hope soon. I mean, we'll just see if we have enough rings for a checkpoint. But here we go. Okay. So this is my first kind of gripe with this game, and with Sonic games in general, is the crush death, guys. Oh my god, like just getting squeezed between, um, getting squeezed between the walls, or the ceiling, or the floor, or whatever, and a moving piece of the map. Oh shoot. And a moving piece of the map? Like, if you get stuck between the elevator and the wall, that's an insta-death. You just get crushed and die, and you could be literally just one pixel in between these two things, and you are gone. Oh! I don't need to get crushed at all. I can just, I can just fall to my, I can just fall to my death. Are we at the beginning? We're literally at the beginning of Chemical Plant Zone. How did I not get any checkpoints that entire time? That's okay. That's okay, guys. We're here to have fun. Get some rangs. Get some rangs. Uh, let's take a different route this time. Let's see what's over here. Okay. 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 Okay! Yo, one amazing thing about Sonic Mania has been its uh, drop dash. You see how sometimes I'm jumping and then rolling into the ball and dashing as soon as I land? That's not in the other games. You have to kind of stop and spin and speed up, but over here, just press the uh, just press the B button and you get to spinning immediately as you hit the ground. So there we go. Oh, just missed it. Just missed it. That was definitely one of the um, autoplay kind of areas. Oh, there's a checkpoint. All right. You know what? We're gonna check this out. We're gonna check this out. Here is bonus stage, the first OG Blue Sphere bonus stage. So, uh, guess what we're gonna do? Guess what we're gonna do here? We're gonna get oh. Oh! Oh! Tell me I got that. Yes! Okay. We're gonna get Blue Spears. That's that's the name. That's literally the name of the game, guys. Literally the name of the game. This is a uh, Get Blue Spears Mania. And turn them into rings. Which is a really scary sound because when they turn into rings, it makes the same sound as when you get hit. So, gives me anxiety. Okay. Alright. That's fair. That's fair. That's not fair. A lot of this game is not fair. Like that! There was the first crush death of many you guys will see in this playthrough. Of many. Trust me. Oh my lord. Okay. That's a- Oh! Okay. Okay, I thought I was gonna- I thought I was gonna fall once again. Back again, once again. I'm just gonna- I'm not even gonna worry about that elevator thing. Oh, that's pro plays! That's pro plays. 
I'm getting some input lag from my controller right now because my fourth wall breaks, Switch is sitting right over there on my little bench stool kind of thing. And I'm hoping that this just like works. Uh, uh oh. Okay. Look at those platforms, just thinking I'm gonna walk right into them and fall for their trap. No way. I'm a veteran. I am a veteran. Okay, here's our first boss. Uh, Chemical Plant Zone. Ah, tried to get that free hit. It did not work. It did nay work. This is not water, guys. This is not water. This is some weird blue... Uh, oh! Some weird blue liquid. So, don't go there thinking you can just get hydrated. Feel a little thirsty. Go talk to this robot guy. No! No, it's gonna hurt you. It's gonna take your ring. It's gonna take your money. It's gonna take your money. I wonder if I can actually hit the, uh... Wow, terrible. Terrible. It is actually, um... No Johns. No Johns. I agreed to no Johns earlier on, so... No Johns will be had. Let's go right into Act 2. I'm hoping I can get this done before my, uh... My camera, aka cell phone, runs out of space. So let's blast through this level. Let's, let's honestly just blast through this in real Sonic Mania style. Don't even worry about exploring too much, just keep going. Just keep moving ahead, man. And yeah, so the original Chemical Plant Zone didn't have a lot of these features. Uh, it, had a, it had a bunch of them, but this is like... What they did, what Christian Whitehead and uh, Headcanon Games kind of did here, is take a lot of elements from different levels and mishmash them into their own place uh, in these zones. So they have existing zones with elements from different existing from different zones in the original game. If if that makes any sense, um, I don't care. Not even worrying about that bonus level right now. Okay. Man, I love these. I love just the super speed that you get from going through all that stuff. I'm also excited to show you guys the boss of this level, honestly. Because it's a little different than what you might expect. A little different. There we go, there we go. Okay. Going up to the top. Let's go right up to the top. That's what I'm talking about. Oh shoot, I wanted to hit the spring! See, another thing about these massive maps is you have to keep in mind where everything is and how to get there and what you need to do once you get there. It's like a lot of playing through and memorizing and then um, taking advantage of what you remember. But I clearly didn't remember that spring being there. There we go. So that, get going, get going. We got some good speed. We're kind of blazing through this, I'm liking it. We only have one life left! Oh boy. Not used to that. I'm used to like 50 of those things. I'm used to just collecting lives as we go. Anyways. Here's our super jelly. I love this jelly mechanic. It like just sends you straight up. It feels good. Just flying through the stage. I love, I love this zone, honestly. There's a lot of zones I really like. Oh, we got our extra- Oh, shoot. Oh! Happy accident. Hashtag Bob Ross. Bob Ross love. Good man. I used to watch a lot of Bob Ross too when I was growing up. We'd play some Sonic on the computer, watch some Bob Ross. Those are the good old days, guys. Those are the good old days. And I am keeping an eye on my time right now. Uh, but I want to show, like, a good bonus level. Like... On a show. Never mind. Never mind. That's okay. Checkpoint's right here. I got the rings! Oh no! Wow. Okay. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We're just gonna have to play through. Act one all over again.
All right, welcome back uh, to. Oh, uh, what am I welcoming you back to? Just to Act Two. Let's just get. We're right back in Act Two. <laughs> um. And uh, for you, I guys, I just wanted to show you guys a little quick speed play of the first act. I sped it up a little bit so I didn't waste like two minutes of your time, but um, just wanted to show you kind of like when you're not exploring around how you can just kind of cut through the entire stage pretty quickly. And that's, I mean, that's pretty cool. That's, I guess, the main draw of Sonic games to begin with, or the original 2D Sonic games was you can either take your time and platform and check all these things out, or you can just kind of blast through the stage from front to from uh, beginning to end. So that was that. Let's uh, let's try to survive this time, honestly. Uh, I'm gonna try to go up this way. Speed through here. I do want to show you guys the boss. It's so cool. All right. Whoop. Yo, these worm things are mad annoying, I'll be honest. These worm things. Okay. Got the checkpoint. There we go, it's bouncing back and forth between these purpley things. And, uh, we're in, we're in like pretty decent shape. We're in pretty decent shape. I, I did die, as you guys, uh, I don't know if... Was that in the... I might have removed it, but I did have a crush death. I did have an annoying crush death once again. I might have removed that from the speed playthrough just to like save a bit of time for you guys, but that's why I only have two lives right now. So that's real nice. Real, real nice. Oh, jeez. Okay, I have no rings now, so. Uh, okay, we're gonna grab these. Okay. Whenever we have no rings, it's just like, Scary and uh, makes me nervous. Makes me super nervous. Oh, uh, worm guys! I hate these worm things. It's like it's hard to figure out where the hit point is if it's only their head because sometimes I also hit them in the back when they're not sputtering out that like electric, that little those ele little electric ball kind of things. Um, so that's also another. Uh, gripe that I have with these games. The hitboxes for enemies is kind of hard to determine a lot of the time. And a lot of the hits you get just don't feel fair, honestly. Uh, it kills the momentum a little bit, and look, I'm not asking for a straight up start to finish, just press right to win kind of thing, but uh, some of the placement for enemies, like you just can't, you don't know that they're there unless you literally memorize that they're there. And you guys already know uh, how good my memory is. Oh, here we go. This is it, this is the boss. Puyo Puyo Tetris. Um, this is a really interesting, really funny boss to have in this game where you're literally just playing Tetris against Eggman. He's just like, you know what? Forget all the violence, forget all these robots trying to destroy you um, with missiles and stuff. We're just gonna play some Tetris and hash it out, you know? Just hash it out over some Tetris. Or like, this, uh, this kind of this interpretation of Tetris, honestly. But, I don't think I've ever lost to him in this game. Uh, they have definitely put this on like easy mode, so. It's not super fun uh, each of the other times, it's kind of just how fast can you beat him. Which is okay, I guess. Uh, but, I kind of wish they made him a little bit more difficult to defeat. Or your boy is just way too good at this game, honestly. I mean, that's definitely a possibility. Uh, no. Considering I already got a game over and it was one and a half episodes into my LP, uh, that's that's saying that's saying a lot. Uh, how do I do? Oh, here we go. Okay. I'm just gonna kill this. Bam! Bam! He should be done. He should be done right here. I think that's it. Is that not it? Oh, that is it. That is it, fellas. What? What just happened? Did you guys see what just happened? Somebody play that back and tell me what just happened right there. How did I die? Did I run out of time? Is it a timing thing? I don't see a timer. Yo, what was that? What just happened? 
That was literally the first time I've ever died in this in this boss. Ever. And of course, it's during my LP. Of course! Of course. Wow. 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 Okay. I don't know if it's a timing thing or what it was. I definitely did not just... I definitely did not get anywhere close to the top there. I don't know. I was so hyped too, I was just like, alright, there it is. I was literally about to say that's the end of this episode. But hey! Okay. Now he's playing hard mode. Now he's playing hard mode. I asked for it. Be careful what you wish for, boys and girls. Be careful what you wish for. Wow, he's crushing me now. <laughs> this is a first. I'm gonna be 100% honest with all of you, this is a first. Okay, I think we're I think we're in decent shape. I think we're in decent shape. Uh Okay, I'm feeling I'm feeling kind of okay about this. Just gotta keep getting keep being strategic. Bam, bam, bam. All right, that's a good one. That was a good one. Feeling good about that. If I die again for some reason, I don't understand. I don't understand what what any of this was. I'm literally just looking around the screen for what could possibly lead to my death here. Okay, there we go. So that worked. I don't know. I have no idea. But, in any case, that's the end of... Uh, <laughs> that's the end of Chemical Plant Zone. And we're about to jump into Studioopolis. Studioopolis in the next episode. This is the first of the brand new stages that these guys introduced in Sonic Mania. Brand new from scratch, the theme, the music, everything, um, and it's sick, it's a good one. So, if you guys enjoyed this episode, please leave a like, please comment, um, subscribe for more of this, uh, and I hope you guys uh, come back for a little bit more in the next episode, but until then, I'll catch you guys later. Bye.